Hi, uh, this is Nate Rothell, and I will be representing Alexis, Claire, and Callie for our Group 1 presentation for the play Fences by August Wilson. The vision we have for our play, or the purpose for our play, is for education. Uh, this will be held at, our play will be held at the University of Buffalo, Buffalo State, the University of Albany, and Alfred State. We feel that this historical period is important for young people or college students to understand. Um, and for them to understand or comprehend exactly what's going on, we will need to hire a dramaturg who is capable of breaking down text and helping our actors work to make the play as realistic as possible for the time period. The budget for our play was $100,000. More than half of it, $52,800, went to stage crew, designers, techs, and the dramaturg. Um, we plan to hire professionals for our play. That's why it's expensive. Uh, here we have the rent per day of each location we will be presenting or performing at. This is our costume budget. Uh, for each character, we broke down each of their pieces of clothing and put a price tag on it so you guys can see how our money is distributed throughout the costume department. Um, for Troy, we just have him wearing jeans, glasses, leather jacket, the 50s look, pretty much. Um, and then for work, we have him in a blue garbage suit and a white garbage suit. And then he'll have a sweater and shoes and a dress shirt, maybe for when he goes out with Alberta to maybe look more attractive, I suppose. Um, for Corey, we just have him in jeans, football uniform, leather jacket, t-shirt, again, the 50s look, and then tank shirt for after football when he comes home. And we have a suit and shoes for him when he returns from the military for his dad's funeral. Um, for Rose, we have two aprons, a dress, sandals, skirt, a shirt, hair piece, nice dress for the funeral and some shoes with some stockings. And lastly, lions, we have them in suspenders, glasses, a dress shirt, pants, bow tie, hat, vest, suit, and shoes. Again, for the funeral. And I'll talk more about lions in a bit when you can see a visual. Continuing on with our costume budget, uh, for a little bit of comedy, we threw Gabriel in there with a trumpet, belt, toga, and a helmet. Uh, this could be funny, lighten up the mood of the rest of the play a little bit. He's not all right in the head, which is which would be honestly funny if considering what he's wearing. Uh, but we'll also give him a military jacket to show how he came back from the military with head damage and then during the end of the play we'll put him in an angel costume and this will show how Troy is seen going into the light. Right now we see her at the end of the play just going to the funeral so she'll be dressed in darker clothes so a dark dress with uh, dress shoes and a dark hair bow. Um, Bono is seen dressed similar, very, very similar to Troy. Um, his garbage suit, his khakis, a little classier with suspenders, but just a button up and just the 50s look again with a t shirt. And lastly, Alberta will look fancier with a pearl necklace and purse and other jewelry because she's trying to attract Troy in the play, which she does. This is our sketch of Troy. You see him with a dirty, sweaty, white t-shirt 
with a blue navy um, garbage jumpsuit with some work, brown work shoes. In the beginning of the play, we'll have him wear the full jumpsuit to show how he's low in status and, and um, hauls the trash around. But then towards the end of the play, we'll have him roll up down the sleeves and tie it around his waist to show how he moved up in the workplace and he just drives, opposed to doing the dirty work. Like I said, I'll come back to lines. Here he is, here's a sketch of him. Um, we see him with a hat on, and it's kind of a musical looking hat because that's all he cares about in life is just playing with his band down at the bar, doing his gigs. So we put him with the hat and suspenders and a bow tie and two-tone colored shoes, kind of like tap shoes, but not really. And this shows his different side compared to everyone else. Our last costume visual is for Rose. We put, in her, put her in a orange tea dress, something that'll be easy to just slip an apron over, nothing too complicated, and it fits the time period. And for detail, we'll put some food smears and some powder on the apron when she's cooking in the kitchen making Gabriel lunch or whatever, just, just for detail. Moving on to our props budget. Our artificial tree is not included in this since it's like a very large prop, but the total is $400 for all of it. This is our house budget. Uh, this is my job, and I decided to make the walls and roof made out of cheap balsa wood. It'll be easy to take down and move from play to play. Um, the base of the house will be made out of pine. The base and structure of the house will be made out of pine 2 by 6s It is cheap and sturdy and will be um, stained for detail and textured with dirt to make it look older. The porch posts can also be made out of pine wood. Maybe just box them up to make it look like a post and then put some paint and chip it off to make it look older. Um, and lastly, we'll use shingle strips instead of individual shingles because it'll take less time to make and it's a lower cost. And then the windows will be at most $100 a piece. This is our set design for the play fences, and it is from the audience viewpoint. We decided to make a two-story white paint chipped house instead of a two-story brick house because we couldn't help to envision this type of setting when reading the play. Um, to the right we have the tree with Troy's baseball bat and baseball, which will represent Troy's past and hardships. And during parts in the play when this is being expressed and relevant, we'll have a light shine on it to further amplify the theme. To the left of that is the workplace for the fence building. Uh, on the staircase, Troy has his bottle of beer or alcohol or liquor, whatever he drinks. Um, it'll probably be water during the play, obviously. And he sits, he sits on the staircase. And then for Rose, we put a couple chairs on the porch. And then to the left of that, we have her clothesline. Um, for the roof, I made it look faded and old and needed a repair. And for the porch posts, I made it look paint chipped and also in need of repair. Here is our stage set from an aerial view. I'll start again with the tree on the down left part of the stage. From the left of that is the work area. And then we have the house where actors like Rose, Troy, and Corey, anyone that goes in the house can make entrances and exits. The clothesline is there, just off to the left of center stage. Um, on the sides of the stage, we'll have 
curtains layered vertically from front to back. And this will be used for actors like Lyons and Gabriel to enter from the sides of the stage without being without the audience seeing the back of the stage or the backstage crew. Lastly, for the aerial view, we have a black drop cloth in front of the house, in front of the work area. Actually, in front of the tree. I messed that up. But this is for scenes for this is for scenes inside the house. So it won't confuse the audience whether, oh, we're not inside the house anymore. Um, it'll just be easier to comprehend. And we'll have props come out like tables and chairs for scenes inside the house. Lastly, this is our video link to our Act 2, Scene 4 comprehension. Thank you.